there's something that's provoked a lot of speculation and discussion amongst The Office fans. Is Kevin Malone actually a genius? With the show's emotional farewell, we see its fans come up with some mind-blowing conspiracy theories regarding the show and its hidden easter eggs, especially from Kevin Malone's character. Welcome to Reality Drama. And today, we're going to answer the question, was Kevin Malone from The Office actually a genius? If you liked the video, we'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit the like button. It really helps us out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to stay in the know with reality drama. There are a lot of theories and explanations about how Kevin Malone, who was considered a dumb buffoon, was actually a genius. Some even went as far as to calling him a mathematical genius. We've explained it further in our video. If you catch it, quickly comment its timestamp below. The first person to comment will get a chance of being the lucky winner to get an exclusive shout out from us in next week's video. So here we go. When the show originally started as mockumentary, it mostly concentrated on some of its most important characters, Michael Scott, Pam Beasley, Jim Halpert, and Dwight Schrute. However, the rising success with audiences, it found the space to widen its focus and concentrate on more niche characters too. This has, over time, given us some of the biggest fan favorites from among the smaller characters. Kevin Malone is perhaps the best example. One of the three accountants in the branch, he is portrayed as the least smart of the lot. He has become quite popular with fans despite or maybe because of his odd nature. He is based on Keith Bishop, one of the characters on the original British show. Kevin Malone was even named by Slate magazine as one of the reasons for looking forward to the show's return in the fall of 2007. As is widely known, he is shown to be the dumbest character on the show. However, some new fan theories have suggested that they have proof to the contrary. Kevin Malone might not be the dumbest person on the show. In fact, he might just not be dumb at all. Fans have produced a frankly convincing string of reasons why he might actually be a genius. If you recall, Kevin managed to trick Daryl and Andy in a game of Dallas. He won the cash price and left each of the two thinking the other is lying. Now that is no mean feat. One of his most iconic accomplishments has been winning a World Series poker bracelet in the No Limit Deuce 7 draw in 2002. This is revealed on the Casino Night episode. Of course, poker is a game of luck and chance, but it undeniably requires significant strategy and skill too. It is very, very unlikely that a dumb person could have secured such a win. Interestingly, Kevin Malone led Dunder Mifflin's C team to win the trivia contest. He's also quite intuitive and observant. If you remember, he was the first person on the show to suspect something going on between Jim and Pam. According to several Redditors, his stupidity does not seem to leave any long-term or major damage. He does not take humongous missteps like the Michael Scott's tots or all the terrible dates. And you know, we're never really told exactly how he figures out that Jim and Pam are dating. How do you think he did that? Tell us in the comments. Similarly, he also gets wind of whatever is going on between Oscar and the Senator. If you recall, he, very peculiarly, happened to be eating an ice cream outside, behind a pallet, near the warehouse where he saw them. Now, is he really stupid? Why would he just happen to be there? Coincidence much? We think not. He probably got a hunch that Oscar was going to have a conversation with the film crew and positioned himself accordingly. In the Pi episode, it becomes quite clear that Kevin is great at complex mathematics and calculations. Also consider the fact that his commentary at Angela and the Senator's party about food was rather intelligent and intriguing. Of course, it is meant to play to the other rather disfaithful regular expectations of a plus size person knowing more about food, a rather cleverly used trick. It easily masks how smart his bit of commentary actually is. Kevin Malone also has a rather smart strategy chalked out to keep his bosses pleased. With Michael, he routinely makes up, tells, and laughs at inappropriate jokes. D'Angelo himself says that Kevin is the only one who has his nature figured out already when he is trying to prevent others from doing the same. Finally, if Kevin is really as dumb as he is presumably pretended to be, how on earth is he successful running a whole bar after being fired from Dunder Mifflin? This is exactly where the whole theory about him actually being a genius takes a mind-blowing turn. Kevin has a clearly evident history of being great at gambling and complex mathematics. While evidence is slim, could a few accounting mistakes by him not have gone unnoticed? Maybe his whole plan was to gradually embezzle money from Dunder Mifflin and open his bar with the capital. 
Something he says early on could actually be indicative of such a plan. If you recall on being explained what insider trading is, Kevin says it sounds exactly like what he does every day. To be laughed off as something silly set by the dumb buffoon, it could be a brilliantly placed bit of honesty. Alternatively, his capital could also have been his severance package. It is hinted that the amount is calculated for six months when Dwight is firing Jim and Pam in the final episode. Now, that is probably a huge amount. Redditors suggest that after his reputation has been established, as the lovable buffoon from Dunder Mifflin, he just makes up Kalevin to get himself fired. Think about it. There was absolutely no mention of Kalevin for nine years until after Dwight becomes the manager. It is indeed the perfect time to leave as his venture is bound to get added attention as belonging to the guy from the famous documentary. And he does mention that its sales have doubled owing to the success of the documentary. So what do you think? Is Kevin Malone stupid or actually a genius? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll soon be back with amazing stuff for you. Till then, like, subscribe, and tell us what you would like in the comments.